one, there's one. Look at that. Shumi's keen eyesight has caught a shadow a few hundred yards away in the middle of Hanafaru Bay. As we get closer, we realize there are at least a dozen mantis swimming around at the surface. Who knows where they were yesterday, but today they're here. So without wasting any time, we get ready to go into the water. I hit the water and immediately a manta turns and comes towards me, flying like a huge bird with a 10-foot wingspan right over my head. These strangely shaped animals are relatives of sharks. They have no swim bladder and they sink if they stop swimming. So just like gigantic underwater birds, they flap their wings to move and stay up off the bottom. Even though their mouths are open wide, these animals present no threat to people. They eat only plankton. They catch the plankton by swimming with their mouths wide open and funneling extra water in using two special fins in front of their mouth called cephalic lobes. Looking down into a manta's throat, you can see the gills. The water goes back out through the gills, but the plankton gets caught on comb-like filters. So a manta ray is like a big swimming strainer that filters out all the tiny planktonic bug-like animals in the water. 